3%. 3% of people are gonna make it. 97% of everybody you meet on the street's gonna fail. Now that sounds mean, it sounds cold hearted, but I think, you know, I take personal offense when people say, oh, most people never make it in network marketing. Dude, most people never make it in anything. I think 97% of people that try to play the guitar quit. I think 97% of people that get into real estate fail to ever even sell one house. I think 97% of relationships to some degree fail. I mean, people suck. People are awesome, but people suck. You know, they're both true, they coexist. I see people do the most amazing things and I'm in awe and I'm like, wow. You know, I love those videos on YouTube that say people are awesome and they're doing incredible things. I'm like, yeah, but so many people are addicted to watching these videos on YouTube, the fail videos. And you know, it's, it's kind of sad, but true. You know, people suck. And, and, and I, what I mean by saying that is so many people never rise to their full potential because they doubt themselves and they allow other people's opinion of them to become reality. And the reason why I've made millions of dollars, I've been to 50 countries, I've lived on five continents, and I have achieved all of my financial goals is because I didn't get tied up into the opinions of other people about me. I didn't let their opinions become my reality. And when somebody said, you know, I tried network marketing before and I failed it, well, your past failure isn't gonna dictate my future potential. And so I never listened to those people. I just decided, you know what, I'm gonna go for it. And you know, I forget which actor it was that said this, I think it was Ethan Hawke, said if you're not willing to do anything silly, well then you're never gonna achieve anything amazing. And it's so true. You know, Jim Carrey said, uh, if you've never been desperate, you're not that interesting. And Les Brown said, if you're not willing you know, to, to take a risk, then you're not gonna grow. And if you don't grow, you'll never become your best. And if you never become your best, you'll never fully be happy. And so I think about how many people in life are just caught up in the drift, doing what everybody else is doing because there's no criticism involved. And I look at like, we just left a shopping mall and I look at all the people that are working there and they're so caught up in being cool and being hip, yet I know how much they're making because I used to work in a mall just like that. And it's like, you offer them an opportunity and they can't be bothered, you know? It's like, they'd rather be cool than be rich. Or, I mean really, they'd rather be rich than be cool, but they're too afraid to fail. They're too scared to try because of the friction and the criticism that's gonna come from their family and their friends. And so, I, I hate to say it, this is gonna sound kinda tough, but if you end up 40, 50 and broke, it's because you valued the opinions of other people more than financial freedom, and you became a slave to other people's opinions. I never had that problem. 19 years old, I got into network marketing, all of my friends laughed at me, said it was stupid. I never said they were stupid back, I never laughed at them. I never even thought like, oh, they're idiots, I'm gonna get rich and I'm gonna show them. I was just like, cool man, you know, I, do your thing, I believe in it and I'm gonna go for it. You've gotta be able to develop your own opinion in life because the government and your family and your friends, nobody's gonna come up to you if things don't work out and say, oh, sorry, here's a million and a half dollars so that you and your family can live in the lap of luxury like you deserve. Ha, never gonna happen. So, you know, be really careful who you listen to because I think one of the, the contributing factors to my success was the ability to make up my own mind and to stand for something. And they say, if you don't stand for something, you'll fall for anything. So here's my advice to you. Forget about being cool. If you guys are young entrepreneurs or you're just young and you're trying to think, man, what am I gonna do with my life? Man, you gotta decide what you wanna do and you gotta go for it. Find a unique opportunity, find a coach, find a mentor. Forget about drinking and smoking and partying. You can do all that later. Focus on becoming successful, learning as much as you can, treat everybody with respect, make a lot of money and secure yourself financially so that you never have to depend on anybody else. Do you know what it's like? I've got friends my age, I'm 38 years old. I've got friends my age moving back in with their parents. I've got friends my age that have so much debt, they're de almost like depressed for life. They can't even get out of bed. And so it's not about having the right watch or having the right car or any of that kind of stuff. It's about securing yourself so that you'll have the independence that'll give you the self-esteem to go out there and be a contributing member of society and not a drain on society. You know, there's a small group of people that are doing network marketing, making a fortune, 
and we've bought property, made investments, pay our taxes on time, and we're upstanding members of the community, and we're contributing, and I truly believe if you help enough people get what they want, then you're gonna get everything you want. So if you're looking at this video for the first time, <clears throat> Cliff Braun, author of Social Marketing, made millions in network marketing, still doing it full time and loving it. I love doing meetings, I love doing trainings, I love doing conference calls, and uh, hopefully I can serve as a little bit of inspiration that try something different. You know, you don't have to get locked into the box of doing the same thing that everybody else does. You can be your own person, develop your confidence, protect your confidence, and do what you really wanna do.